Hello, good morning students. Today we will study the concept of IUCN red list categories. According to IUCN, the species they are characterized into nine categories on the basis of rate of decline, population size, area of geographical distribution, degree of population and distribution fragmentation. The nine categories, nine groups are number one, extinct. No known individual is remaining on this earth. Example, golden toad, that is buffo. It is bright, small, shiny toad found in the forests of Costa Rica. According to IUCN, not a single species of this toad is now spot spotted. It is declared extinct in 2004. Second category, extinct in wild means present in captivity but not in wild, known only to survive in captivity or as a naturalized population outside is its historical range. Example is Hawaiian crow. So only two individuals of this crow were present and they disappear in 2002. So it is extinct in wild but 56 species they are present in captive breeding facilities. So first is extinct, no individual is remaining. Second is extinct in wild, only present in captive, not in wild. Third, critically endangered, that is extreme high risk of extinction in the wild. Very less population is present. Normally it is thought that less than 250 individuals they are present. Example, Ghadial, Gavialis gangaticus, Javan rhinoceros, and Anamalai frying fox. Next, fourth is the endangered, that is high risk of extinction in the wild. Example is one horned rhinoceros only 1850 individuals they are present. Leopard 7500 leopards they are present in wild. Nilgiri, Langur very low number it is present and they are having high risk of extinction. So four categories number one extinct, number two extinct in wild, number three critically endangered, number four endangered. Now coming to number 5 is vulnerable, that is high risk of endangerment in the wild. If they are not taken care of it, they will become endangered soon. For example, brown bear, clouded lap leopard, Ganga river dolphin, Himalayan musk deer, wild goat, wild yak. Next species is nearly threatened, likely to become endangered in the near future. Right, and they are grey falcon, then emerald monitor varanus. Next category is least concerned, lowest risk, large number of population is present, widespread, abundant. Example is grey jungle fowl, aardvark, giraffe, emperor penguin. Next category is data deficit, not enough data to make an assessment of its risk of extinction. Example is mongoose, collared mongoose, then borean badger. Now in last category is not evaluated, has not yet evaluated against this criteria. For example, Queensland lungfish, black-headed python, zebrafish. So according to IUCN red list, we have seven, uh, nine categories. Number one, extinct. Number two, extinct in wild number 3 critically endangered number 4 endangered number 5 vulnerable number 6 near threatened number 7 least concern number 8 data deficient number 9 not evaluated then threatened species a general term is given for a threatened species to three important categories that is critically endangered endangered and vulnerable. So all these species which come under these category they are known as threatened species. 
and the red data book red data book as you all know it is a state document established for documenting rare and endangered species of animals plants fungi as well as some local subspecies that exist within that territory of state or country so in india in 1983 tikader first of all categorized the rare animal in the book covering 81 mammals 47 birds 15 reptilians and 3 amphibian as rare species later on it was revised in 1993 by mr ghosh and he enlisted 77 mammals 55 birds 20 reptilian one amphibian species in this category later on again the revision take place in 2000 and 150 mammals they are enlisted in it and they are categorized as endangered so iucn claims to have category of several species re evaluated every 5 years if possible or at least every 10 years so red data book contains the species the threatened species of plants animals fungi organism so i think the concept is clear thank you